Anxiety Toolkit. Many survivors of rape and sexual abuse experience anxiety. Living with anxiety can be very difficult, but there are steps you can take that might help. This video explores some tips which you may find useful. You may find it helpful to talk to someone you trust about what is causing your anxiety. Having someone listen and show they care can help you relieve some of the anxiety. If you don't have anyone you feel you can trust, you can contact the Samaritans or Anxiety UK helplines. These numbers are available at the end of the video. Make time to focus on your worries so that you can reassure yourself that you haven't forgotten to think about important things. It helps to set aside a specific time and to limit this with a timer for a maximum of 15 minutes. Try to accept things you cannot change, especially those you have no control over, as this can free up energy to focus on what you are able to control. Write down your worries. You could write these down in a notebook or store them on your mobile phone. Some people find it helpful to write their worries down on pieces of paper and put these into a box, jar or envelope. You could make a worry box to store your worries and look at them at a later point with a trusted friend or your therapist who can help talk you through them. Keep a diary and make notes of what happens when you get anxious or have a panic attack. This can be useful to identify patterns in what triggers your anxiety, what are the early warning signs of your anxiety and what helps you to manage it. A diary also helps you to know what is going well and enables you to track your progress. Peer support can help you to connect to other people who have had similar experiences and is a great way to support each other by sharing ideas about how to stay well, connect with others and feel less alone. You can find details of support groups on the Anxiety UK website. Alternatively, you could join Side by Side, Mind's supportive online community, to ask about support groups near you. Make sure you look after your physical health by getting enough sleep so that you have enough energy to cope with difficult feelings. Take regular exercise and make sure you eat regularly and healthily, as stable blood sugar levels can have a beneficial effect on mood and energy levels. Try to do some physical activity. Exercise can be really helpful for your mental well-being. See the physical section of our well-being page for more information. Complementary and alternative therapies such as yoga, meditation, aromatherapy, massage, reflexology, herbal treatments and hypnotherapy might help you. Some people find that one or more of these methods can help them to relax or sleep better, although they do not work for everyone. Another alternative therapy that has been found to help some people is ecotherapy, which involves getting outdoors and spending time in nature. This could include physical exercise in green spaces, or taking part in a gardening or conservation project. Breathing exercises can help you to feel more in control. For some practical breathing exercises you can try, visit the trauma section of our website. Mindfulness helps people to focus on the present moment, which can relieve stress. Some people find noticing their bodily sensations or their negative thoughts too intense, which can actually make them feel worse. The National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, which produces guidelines on best practice in healthcare, states that mindfulness is not recommended for some people experiencing social anxiety. If mindfulness doesn't work for you or makes you feel worse, ask your GP or therapist about other things you could try. There are a number of treatments that have been found to help with anxiety and panic disorder. To access treatment, visit your GP who will do an assessment, including filling out a questionnaire about how often you feel worried, anxious and how nervous you are. They should then explain your treatment options to you and you can decide together what might suit you best. Your GP can help you with the following options. Self-help, talking therapies, charities and specialist organisations and medication. For more information about these options, visit the Anxiety Toolkit section of our resources website or contact your GP directly. Remember, recovery and healing takes time and is a journey which is not always easy or straightforward. It may be difficult to recover from all of your symptoms, so it can help to focus on developing ways to cope and build your emotional resilience.
In addition to our stress, panic and anxiety web page, you might find it useful to visit our resource web pages on well-being and trauma. For more information about treatments available to you, contact your GP. Remember, you can always call the Samaritans Helpline on 116123 or Anxiety UK Helpline on 03444 775 774 if you would like to talk to someone about your experiences and access support. Thank you for watching.